We're doing another fireside chat today, partially due to some things needing to be addressed, but also due to the fact that I have a sizable video commenting on how balance works that I've been working on. That one will be released the next time I see people with steam coming out of their ears in regards to a big patch. It's been quite some time since we've discussed the state of the game and the happenings therein, so it'll be nice to relax and take it all in for a bit. Today's agenda involves talking some positive changes or additions that could be made, the new war bond, and that looming threat that I keep talking about. Plus, we might be blowing up a planet. I'm gonna begin every one of these from here on out with a request for that one round or bolt action rifle. I'm not a complicated man. I'm just a guy who wants a proper combination of our sniper rifle and our railgun. It would be completely reasonable. Just think about this here with me. It would have a proper scope, better than the sniper rifle's optic, of course, because those circles are ugly, possibly more magnification range as well, and uh, as much as I would love for it to be a bolt action with a magazine, I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that's not on the table in terms of balance, so I have an alternative, and it won't even be hard to incorporate. How about we use this break action feature already in place for the double barrel shotgun? That way all you gotta do is make an elongated weapon model with some frills and flare, tack on a scope, crank up the armor penetration, muzzle velocity, and range ratings, and then you're good to go. It would still be reasonably balanced because instead of having the charge up time for a railgun, you have that elongated reloading time. It would pretty much be the laser cannon equivalent of the recoilless rifle. I promise you, sorry, quasar cannon, my bad. I promise you, if you do this and make it strong enough out of the gate, that's like a free week of good press for you guys. I'd even stand on business for any nerfs that came if they are reasonable enough. Another thing that would be dope as hell to get some steam behind would be some fashion of training range. Every game has one, and we were initially able to see static character models in the stratagem venue with the illustrations of different items, so it's definitely possible. You could even lock it behind requisition credits, so we have more of a reason to work for them. Realistically, all it would need to be is a big-ass box. Big in comparison to the player, that is. It should actually be smaller than the eradication map. Uh, you go to a segment of your ship, Step into a little arcade or VR machine, and then you get to pick your enemy ranging from static to full combat function so you can figure out what weapons do and don't work against them or how to use them. If you don't feel like doing that, which I totally understand, how about you just give us a codex? Just, just like a little pamphlet, just an informative booklet on these enemies, and you can color code it. Put a little legend on the side explaining armor rates and whatnot. I would appreciate this so much, and I promise you others would as well. It would take so much guesswork out of the game. Last of the requests here because I don't intend to be too overbearing or demanding. Can you increase the rare sample maximum capacity? This is a little thing, but it would make a very big difference to a lot of people. Particularly to those of us who play a lot. For those of you that aren't aware, the maximum amount of each sample you can store are 500 common, 250 rare, and 100 super samples. So, when we are given a new array of ship modifications, everyone at capacity should be able to purchase two. But because the most expensive typically hang around 200 to 250 common and 10 to 20 super, the problem arrives at them also costing 150 rares. This means, despite working to get the maximum amount of samples across the board, you are still not able to purchase two upon new release. I assure you, us that reach capacity are not going to stop playing simply because we're no longer gathering samples. We are in it for the long haul. Please bring the rare requirement down, or the rare maximum up. It would be ever so kind of you. It would also be a very minor and low effort change, but it would be so very meaningful as a nice little way to reward people who put a lot of time into this game, and it doesn't make anyone feel left out either. 
If someone complains about not being able to hold more samples, that person is no longer allowed to vocalize opinions. Now we get to have a little chat about the new polar patriotism war bond. All things considered, it's had its rather mixed reviews. As some of you know, I do not care for most of the guns, nor am I a big fan of the armor. However, I do hope to see future buffs, which I'm pretty confident they will as many of these weapons seem to be lackluster. I thought the match celebrations were great, the grenade and booster feel good, and I see a lot of potential regarding the new color scheme featured on the third page armor. I would like to primarily focus on the weapons here though. I was so blown over by one in particular that I failed to provide any decent constructive suggestions due to being overwhelmingly disillusioned. The tenderizer and pummeler seem to both be at where they are intended to be. The alternative to the liberator, albeit with a bit extra reloading, fills out the tenderizer's niche, and the pummeler got a bit of a scathing review initially from me, which drew some attention, and you know, reasonably so, but although I'm not rescinding it, I would like to provide more explanation. The most valued traits a weapon can have to me are lethality and expediency. Can you kill this thing, and how fast are what I ask of a weapon? A concussive firearm is not likely ever going to appeal to those metrics. To me, they seem like tools that delay the inevitable. That being said, I try to give credit where credit is due. If you take an honest assessment of yourself, and you determine you're getting swarmed more often than not, or you have trouble killing the big enemies quickly, you'll probably find this weapon helpful. Just don't take the ballistic shield into a bug mission with it. Shield with bots? Fine. Bugs? No. The verdict on the verdict was that it's supposed to be some sort of happy medium between the senator and peacemaker, but it got janky and maintained poor handling while coming up short on damage or penetration. Hard to tell which, really. All you need there is a little bit more punch. That's, that's really it. The purifier came up short and pretty much, well, everywhere. I'm gonna keep it brief. You keep the charge time. You make the click indicating it's fully charged louder, crank the hell out of damage and splash radius, or you have it function at a burst. In any case, I expect this thing to be gigabuffed at any moment now. Finally, at our last order of business here, because they go hand in hand, from what I've been able to gather, and this is just speculation, so I can't promise you anything, but we're gonna be glassing Meridia, and it's gonna piss off the future squid folk, then we're gonna get a third faction out of it. I have no idea when this is purported to happen, but I've been hearing it a lot from a lot of people for quite some time now. And being the madman that I am, I suggest on top of whatever enemies they introduce, they incorporate some kind of Halo-esque jackal sniper enemy with a cloaking device that's a nightmare to deal with. I may or may not be encouraging this because I think it's a means to get aforementioned sniper conjured into existence. That's all I got for you guys today. Sorry if it was brief, but I promise the balanced commentary video is going to be worth it. In the meantime, tell me more about what you'd like to see out of this game, and maybe I'll try to incorporate it into the suggestions on the next one. Also, if you're above 18, feel free to join the Discord server featured in the channel info. It's only 18 plus because kids find a way to make a mess of things, not for any explicit purposes. It's also devoid of the problems found within the official Divers Discord, because I get to rule it with an iron fist. Well, ladies and gents, that's everything. Uh, I'm going to go back to listening to blues music and figuring out these solo videos. You folks have a good night. Stay safe.